In terms of homelessness, the Covenant has helped in the same way it has really with access to social housing in that it's removed the local connection criteria. This means that a member of the armed forces community can apply to a local authority as a homeless person and that local authority will then support them, help them, look at the reasons for their homelessness, provide them with temporary accommodation if, if appropriate um, and deal with a homelessness application. The crucial thing about homelessness is, is what's called priority need. So local authorities have a statutory duty to consider and investigate anyone that claims homelessness so that we can address that. And therefore, we, similarly to the housing allocations policies, we need to ensure that we're housing people that are homeless in greatest need, that are in priority need. So, for example, a family with young children, there are some categories that are automatically priority needs. So young children in a family, somebody that's pregnant, somebody that's got mental health issues, somebody that's got a physical disability and not able to find their own accommodation, those types of things. Because homelessness is a statutory function and is therefore audited, councils, local authorities are monitored by the government to ensure that we're properly investigating and properly allocating properties, um, we need to ask questions and, and we need to be sure as to why somebody has become homeless, but also as to why we feel that that person is vulnerable and needs our direct intervention in terms of giving them a property. So a member of the armed forces community, if they've got a family that, and they're homeless, will automatically be priority need. They've got young dependent children. If they're single and outwardly appear to be a healthy single person that's you know 48 and come out of the armed forces, at first glance you might think, well, they're non-priority need. They can find their own accommodation with with support. We can we can help. However. We, if we can identify whether there are any issues, be it stress, mental health, medical issues, it might mean that it makes that person a priority need and therefore we can allocate a property to them without people telling us what their um, medical situation is or their experience is, we're not able to properly make a decision um, and the concern then is people walk away from a service without the support and help that they that they deserve or that they're entitled to. If we can build a rapport with an individual so that they feel safe to, to share their experience, their medical situation, be it mental health, be it physical, that will enable us as a local authority to help that person. If we can establish the facts and, and exactly what the medical conditions are, then we're able to better decide where that person can be housed and what we can do to help.